I'm excited to be with our partners today to talk about our demonstration project that we have funded through the California Department of Food and Agriculture Healthy Soils Program. The idea was really to develop a project that will help improve our healthy soils and so multi-species cover crops seem to be the best management practices uh, to learn more about, to share more about among our agricultural community. This partnership with the Glen County RCD and with Chico State Center for Regenerative Agriculture has been um, has been a wonderful experience for us in many different ways. So the project was set up with just two treatments, a seeded multi-species no-till uh, treatment versus just the natural volunteer vegetation. And we did that on 16 blocks. Uh, they were randomized um, to either treatment or to control. Um, and we maintained that over the course of the four years. Typically, we're, we're planting these multi-species covers because we want to keep the soil covered um, at all times with a living root for as long as possible throughout the growing season. Um, ultimately what that does is it's really feeding the soil microbiome and that's the critical piece. We are here in Artois. It is in Glen County about an hour and a half north of Sacramento. Um, we are in the foothills here and the soil has legacy compaction. It's very tight. There's a clay layer, low organic matter. Um, so we were beginning this project on some challenging soils. We chose over 12 different species of cover crops to, to plant and the way we did it or our, our involvement in this was to make sure that uh, we bought all the seed, we had everything ready to go and that operationally all of our equipment was, was in place and got uh, the execution done properly. Every spring we would come out with our team and we would collect uh, soils and we would collect soils at two depths and we would uh, go zero to six and then six to 12 so that we would understand really what's going on in that top 12 inches of the soil profile in, uh, in this particular orchard. These soils started pretty heavily compacted. So we were starting with some um, pretty tight soil to begin with. And throughout the four years of this multi-species cover, we did note statistically a change in bulk density. So we are starting to see a shift in that zero to six um, inch layer. Uh, we hadn't seen any big shifts down lower, but that will come with time. Like I said, it does take time to see these improvements. The other uh, metric that we measured was aggregate stability. And aggregate stability is all about soil structure. So what we're trying to do is establish just how stable this soil is going to be um, in water or in the wind. Um, and more stable um, aggregates means that there's less erodibility in the soil. And that really is tied to uh, changes in bulk density and it's also tied to changes in the soil microbiome. So our goal is to shift these soils into a more fungal dominated type soil structure, which will help the overall structure of the soil in bulk density, aggregate stability, um, and, and a whole host of other types of parameters. Um, we haven't seen a shift in carbon yet, but in all of our work, the changes that take place in the soil biology will change the bulk density, change the aggregate stability, which is what we had seen. But it did take us four years to get there. Um, the next step would be a change in or an improvement in um, the soil the soil carbon levels. Um, we just uh, need to continue to monitor this particular site so that we can then track when that change in soil carbon will happen. Now why do we want carbon? Well obviously with carbon all good things happen. Um, the more carbon you have in the soil the, the happier your, your, your bacteria and your soil microbiome would be. Um, and then they're the ones that are actually feeding the crop. So we want very happy soil microbes um, and they feed off that carbon. So they do need a really healthy carbon to nitrogen ratio in the soil. And then um, the more carbon you have in the soil, the more water um, use efficiency you can derive. Um, you should see changes in water infiltration. Uh, statistically, we haven't seen that yet in this particular trial. 
um, but we're there. The trend is there, um, and I think that statistically it was like 0.07, so it hadn't reached that threshold. In our experiments, the statistical difference between treatments need to be 0.05 or less, and so you can see we're, we're there. We're right at that precipice where we should see it, an improvement in water infiltration or the ability of that soil to capture water that, that comes from the sky. Um, and we want to be able to capture and utilize that water. The other thing that changes is the water holding capacity in soil. So that means that volume for volume you're going to be holding more water in this soil over time because the carbon holds the water, making it more plant available over time. So Carbon is really what drives these agroecosystems. So we want to build soil carbon in every way, shape, or form. And that's what I love about the California Department of Food and Agriculture's Healthy Soil Program, is that it's really targeting soil carbon. They're getting right at the nut of the issue. We need to be building soil carbon. Any way you can, if you're building soil carbon, you're improving your farm. What we found was um, we had some really great su success for the for the three years that this process has been happening um, and we look forward to you know keep this going. The only uh, challenges that we faced was the the overall uh, compaction of our orchards due to the current drought that we were facing we didn't get as great of a germination as we would have wanted to. Um, looking forward we expect to have a little bit better of an outcome um, uh, by doing uh, some disking ahead of it and planting all of our um, cover crops at about 70 pounds to the acre. Over the course of the project with the multi-species cover crop, we've been so thrilled to see improvements in the structure of our soil that um, we're going to continue these practices going forward. We're going to do multi-species cover crop on every alley row um, in our orchards and our organic orchards going forward. I would greatly recommend you reach out to your local RCD office to find out what opportunities are out there to help you uh, keep down the, the, the path that you want to take as far as rebuilding your, your soils and helping with all the uh, implementation of the current cultural practices you have.